another great offensive performance. You know, just what your overall feelings from the game and how they, how they performed? Uh, they uh, shoot. I, I thought it was a very good game. Uh, the defense was really good. The pitching was really good. Uh, the only pitcher that walked anybody gave up a run, um, which kind of is a little salt and wound, you know. And it's a it's a great lesson. Um, but still, you had a, I mean, complete game. Very, very good offensive performance. Very good defensive performance. Some of the plays in that game were just amazing. Bryce Betcher laying out uh, in left field. Josh Kasovich uh, rolling up double plays with Cali up the middle. And then uh, even Cali with the jumping catch that was a big play with a uh, runner on third and one out to prevent a run. Um, there were just several defensive plays that were really, really good. And I thought it was our most complete game of the year. How about Tanner Smith? Last two games, he's really broken out. Yeah, Tanner, you know, good player. Hitting comes and goes. You know, at the beginning of the year, it wasn't there with him. And obviously, he's starting to find a, a good rhythm right now, which is really good. Starting Pac-12 play, we're going to need Tanner. He's, uh, you know, our leadoff guy and uh, one of the best competitors I've ever been around. So it was really nice to see Tanner uh, have, a, have another really good game. And what do you think of uh, Jacob Hughes on the mound today? He looked like he had poise. Uh, he looked like he had a, a real presence to him out there. Uh, he pitched. And he had a lot of success doing that. You know, he's really good. His brother's really good at Gonzaga right now, and he falls in the same uh, lineage there. And so uh, we hope that, that obviously this Hughes can be like that Hughes yeah. up at Gonzaga right now. That Hughes is doing pretty good. Um, and I think this Hughes has got a chance to do that as well. He, he looked great. Uh, he looked like a guy that, um, you know, definitely is screaming, hey, give me the ball more and for longer opportunities. Was the plan to go three innings with him and could we see more in the future? The plan was only for him to go two. Okay. Um, so he just, we kind of took him out a little bit. We, we let him go another inning longer uh, just because he had done so well and we wanted to reward him for that. Brennan Malone gets his first hit from since the St. John series. Just what did you see from him today? Just you seem to have like a little different approach at the plate. Um, yes and no. I mean, you know, he he uh, squared several balls up in the Santa Barbara series and right. didn't get rewarded uh, at all. You know, he lined out I think three or four times, flew out deep to the, the wall a different time, and uh, he'd been putting good swings on the ball uh, even last weekend. And he didn't get rewarded for it on the on the stat sheet or, or whatever. But uh, he's a really good hitter. We're lucky to have him. Jack Scanlon with his first home run of the year. Yeah. What was that like in the dugout after what everybody's telling him? Well, all that and Tyler Gannis and Colby mm-hmm. Shade and, you know, amongst others, you know, Jacob Walsh had that clutch uh, basis clearing, you know, double down the right field line. That was a big momentum type of a deal. Uh, there were just a lot of really good swings on balls that were um, put on by our offense and really excited for Jack. You know, he needed that. Um, and just it was fun being in the dugout again tonight with the guys. They had a lot of fun with each other. Just looking ahead, uh, with Stanford coming up this weekend. What is what does the rotation look like? Is there any updates on Adam Meyer? What's, what's that going through? Uh, no, I don't have any updates on Adam. Um, and you know, we haven't uh, determined the rotation quite yet. We'll probably meet after uh, you know tomorrow morning and then mm-hmm. release the rotation for the weekend. Just what have you seen from Stanford this year? Then just overall, and you know, how are you looking to attack them as one of the better teams in the Pac-12? Well, I mean, a couple of weeks back, they had a heck of a weekend against Arkansas in a tournament out there, and I think they won the tournament and, and were fantastic. They were picked to win our league, um, you know, and they were a team that was in Omaha last year. Um, you know, we fought them like crazy at the end of last year to win a Pac-12 championship, um, and uh, I think all the games last year against Stanford were really, really great baseball games. I would anticipate this year at their park at Sunken Diamond, uh, that it's going to be a great baseball weekend on their turf. So looking forward to it. I know the guys are too.